8 News at 5 starts now. Thank you for joining us. We begin with the latest on that breaking news in Vir Virginia Beach where a Navy F-18 jet has crashed into an apartment complex. You can see the wreckage here and smoke billowing from those buildings. A number, as you can see, have been damaged. Emergency crews are searching the wreckage now for possible unknown victims. We're told that two crew members were ejected from the jet. Let's take a closer look now at the area where this all happened. We have it marked off on this, on this map. You see the smoke there? It's the Mayfair Muse Apartments on Birdneck Road. 8 News reporter Nate Eaton is there live, close to the scene with the very latest for us. I'm here with one of the men who kind of played a key role in all of the events today. We're outside the apartment complex. Patrick Cavanaugh, you're inside your apartment, correct? Correct. Describe what happened and what you did. I was sitting there and I heard three loud booms. It didn't sound like explosions. So I got up and went out to my uh, sliding door back deck and looked down and saw a pilot. Just laid on the ground, his sheet still hooked to the building. As soon as I saw him, I knew exactly what had happened. I didn't think it was that close. I did a, a, a body survey on him for, for broken bones, open wounds. I didn't see any. The poor boy was, was in shock. But he was talking to you. He was talking. He, he wasn't moving at all. He was just laying there on his, on his shoulder. Our neighbors, my nephew next door, and some neighbors helped pick the guy up. Once I found him, didn't feel like he had any broken bones. We moved him to the corner of a, the parking lot away from the flames. I didn't know how close the flames were. I heard secondary explosions. I didn't know if it was ammunition, fuel tanks, gas lines of the apartment complex. I didn't know where the jet had crashed. But you heard it, and you had a pilot lying, what, on your back deck? On the back deck. And what were his injuries like? He just, from what I could tell, he didn't have any open wounds. He just had a little blood, I think, around the nose area. Uh, I didn't feel any broken bones. He was conscious. He was in shock. Um, so I made a decision. When I saw the, the black smoke come across the top of the building, I knew we had to we had to move him, regardless. Um, You've had quite a health history yourself. This was pretty remarkable for you. You're here moving this pilot who's just who's just crazy. heavy, heavy guy. The guy on my back is killing me. Yeah. Talk about how you were able to do this. I've had five heart attacks. I've, it, it was it was my old rescue squad training, adrenaline. You'd have done the same thing. You've done the same thing. It's, you don't have time to think. I'll think about it a little later tonight. But you just didn't have time. You had to, to had to act. And then with my nephew and some of the other neighbors, we went around to make sure we got the people out of the building. Because this is a an adult community. We have a lot of how can I say this politely? Elderly. And we had to make sure did what we could to get the people out. But they heard the boom, they saw the fire, and they, believe me, they were coming out. Would you say you're a hero for helping move this pilot? No, no. He would have done, they would have done all the, the, the same thing. As soon as they saw the fire, they they knew. He didn't didn't have any open wounds, so sure, they would have grabbed him. But just like a mass unit, load and go. And how does the apartment complex look right now? Terrible. I think my, my apartment building is okay, but... We've got a lot of uh, a lot of damage. My sister and mother just moved out two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, apparently, where the jet came down, and I think their building's destroyed. Wow, Patrick Cavanaugh, you did good work today. I wasn't I wasn't by myself. Thank you very much You're for welcome. talking with us. We'll let you take a take a break here. Uh, I want to kind of set the stage from where we're at. The apartments are back here. There's a lot of media here from all over the place, as you can imagine. The apartments are back here behind some of these stores along this main road where we are at here in Virginia Beach. We're expected to hear a news conference around 515 for an update. Six people taken to the hospital, including, including two pilots and four civilians who are inside of the apartment. Miraculously, people or we're told that none of these injuries are critical, non-life-threatening injuries after this jet came crashing down here about a half mile from the ocean, we're told. 
Um, and Patrick Cavanaugh, the man we just spoke with right here, played a key role in helping one of these pilots. We're going to be here and continually bring you updates throughout the newscast. Again, a 515 update is expected. We will carry that live here on 8 News. For now, reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Nate Eaton. Back to you.